Hey, what's going on? It's Chi here. Today in Seattle, yeah. it's pretty cold out, and we decided to get pho. Not our normal place, but she found a new place that we never heard of. And it's locally right down the street from Renton Bistro at the other restaurant. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it at the end. Check it out. Very delicious food. We were talking to the owner, and she says that they have a popular restaurant out in Everett. They had it there for 10 years, and this is the newest branch here in Renton, Washington. They said when you go to the one in Everett, there's literally lines out the door. They will take the order for you, and as soon as you sit down, you would have your soup or your food right in front of you. Very popular with the Boeing company out in Everett, and it looked pretty cool. Their rating was super high on Yelp, and we'll give it a try. So again, this is Pho Asia House Noodle Restaurant here in Renton, Washington. All right, good, thank you. Look at this, the pho came in. That was pretty quick. That was less than, what? Less than five minutes or so? Ooh, excited. So they normally give you a bunch of vegetables, bean sprouts, some um, basil, jalapeno, but I don't really do this stuff because for some reason I got allergic to um, bean sprouts. It sucks because I used to love bean sprouts and also the basil, but now I just go with the lime. It sucks. Anyway. It is what it is. Well, we have tons of lime. They hooked it up with the lime. Some lime in there. How's it? Oh, if you, I don't know if you can hear over the other ladies talking, but she kept saying, oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, this is gonna be the first taste. Straight from the bar. Here we go. Oh my god. Wow, that's different. The pho is very... Okay, let, let me try to see what I can put this in the words. There's a lot of full flavor into the soup. It's like kind of thick. Sometimes when you get pho, it's kind of like more... Um, I'm gonna say dense, it's not a dense word, but the broth is like a full broth, you know, if, if you get what I'm saying. Like you can tell it's been cooking in a pot for so long that all the flavors is really in this soup. Wow, so many flavors. Man, I'm a loss for words. I, I, I can't describe it again. Pho is perfect for this kind of cold weather. And it just makes you like enjoy the meal on this cold day. How are you doing? Very good. Very good. Thank you. All right. So we got the noodles. Mm, the noodles seem, um, it's kind of different. It's like a thin noodle. I'm usually used to the thicker ones. Mm, a little thinner. Yeah, they're a little thinner. But it still has full of flavor. Mm, very good. He should've got large. <laughs> She said she should have got a large. So we got the, the house special pho, which is the rare round steak, brisket, flank, marble brisket, tendon, tripe, and meatball. So it has tons of meat in here. You can see it from here. Mm. Yeah, I'm excited to taste this meat. Here we go. I think I believe I have some fatty flank here. Mm. So much flavor. Mm. Very good. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm enjoying this. The thing that always trips me out is like, of course, pho is Vietnamese, but in a hot country like Vietnam, they eat pho. I, you would think it would be like in a colder place, but it's one of the beautiful dishes that Vietnam has. The cuisine is amazing because we got stuff like pho. It's kind of like a staple now for everybody. Mm. So what I'm going to do now is get uh, the good sriracha sauce. Stick it in my spoon with some hoisin. Squirt that in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Get a little bit of soup and enjoy. Mm. Delicious. Very good. Enjoying it. Yeah, very good. <laughs> the owner came by and asked if it was good. And yeah, she is super friendly. You know, she's always all smiles, always checking up on us. Very nice and cozy. Reminds me of like, um, it's like an old school diner kind of feel. I'll get a view of this right after. I'm really tempted to order like a, a bowl of vermicelli. <laughs> hmm. Mm. So much flavor. So if you're adventurous, I would suggest to uh, give everything in there. Everything a try. Put it all in there. Because you get the full of flavors all mixed together. Delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Look at this meat. I don't want it to drip everywhere, but take a look at this. Oh. Okay, I'll move it forward. There you go. Look at all that meat. Got the onions going on. Got the noodle. Mm. That flavor is just incredible. Got a lot more um, the meatball here. Mm. There's so much meat in this bowl. Look at this, tons. It keeps going. Mm, that pho, that soup, that broth. Full bodied, rich, full of flavor. Yes, let's go. Mm. So unfortunately my mic went out during this time. It happens. But we ordered another dish, which is the vermicelli. This is the house special one, which has a sugar cane and kind of like a prawn meat wrap over it. I'm kind of explaining what it is. So inside is the sugar cane. We also have the typical noodles, lettuce, carrots, and radish, and they're all pickled. Normally this also comes with like basil and mint leaves. Like again with the pho, I'm allergic with the vegetables, so I had to get it kind of plain, which, which is pretty good. It has the vegetables, I believe, if that makes sense. 
And this is the Nukmam. And I'm giving it a taste here. And it's really sweet. So what I like to do is get my Nukmam. I normally add hot sauce or hot chili to this. But since I'm sharing it with my partner here, I'm just going to keep it mild. So I like to dump the whole nuke bomb into my bowl. So it covers the noodles, vegetables, and everything with the flavor of the fish sauce. Very delicious if you don't do it this way. Some like to just dip it in or get their noodles and dip it in the sauce. But I like to just dump it in like how you do with salad dressing. So I'm giving it a good mix here. Trying to get all the flavors and all the noodles marinated with that delicious nukmam. Alright, here's my first taste. Yeah, I'm saying, wow, this is delicious. It has full of flavors, got the noodles going on. And I'm just going to explain further. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead since this is kind of long. And I'll get to the talking parts. So let's go ahead and skip ahead. That kind of sucked. I don't know if you heard me. So I may have to do a redo of voiceover. It happens. My mic was off. I just noticed it until now. So again, this is the vermicelli. I got a good mix of all the noodles and flavors with the nukmam. This is the um, barbecue, barbecue skewers, the pork. Mm. Full of flavor. A little bit of salty, smoky. Savory, the noodles. Mm. The nook bomb is sweet, full of flavors with the uh, pickled carrots, um, radish, and we have lettuce and cucumber. To me, like vermicelli is like pho without the soup. But it's actually totally different. Give it a try. Very delicious. Oh, let me try this. It's the shrimp skewer with sugar cane. Oh, correction. She just, it's prawn. <laughs> I thought it was shrimp, but it, hey, it's more high class. It's a prawn. What's the difference between a prawn and a shrimp? I don't know, bigger maybe. But anyway, let's give it a try. Mm. Tastes like a, a prawn. <laughs> mm. A sugar cane is like sweet. Of course, it's made out of sugar <laughs> from a sugar cane. But yeah, at the end, you could crunch into it, full of flavor. Gives you a little sweet. Mix it a savory of the shrimp. Excuse me, prawn. Mm, very good. So that was a quick take on the vermicelli. I'm gonna enjoy this. I don't need to go in too much detail, but pho vermicelli. Mm. All here at Pho Asia Noodle House here in Renton. Come take a look. Enjoy. Friends over there, <laughs> say hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you'll be on the vlog.